Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to create the login view and a register view. Here I will not write the entire code. The code is with me. I will discuss the flow. To create the login view and register view inside the core folder, I have created a widgets folder and inside that I have created two custom widgets. One is custom text form field and another one is rounded elevated button. Let me move to custom text form field. Here you can see that it is extending the stateless widget and in the constructor I have passed text editing controller, validator function, text input type, obsecure text which is of type boolean, hint text and suffix and this suffix is optional. Now in the build method I have used the text form field and in the obsecure text I have passed obsecure text then in the controller I have passed controller then keyboard type is there in the decoration I have used input decoration and in the suffix I have passed suffix after that there is a hint style and in the border here I have used outline input border there I have passed the border side and border radius and after that we have enable border focused border error border and focused error border and after that the error style these are self explanatory and in the validator I have passed validator this is how I have created the custom text form field let me move to rounded elevated button. This is also a stateless widget and in the constructor here I have passed button text on pressed and color. In the build method here I have taken the elevated button. In the on pressed I have passed on pressed and in the style you can see in the background color I have used the passed color elevation I have set as 0. In the shape I have used rounded rectangle border with border radius 8 and in the fixed size I have specified the width as screen width and the height as 45 and in the child I have used text widget there I have passed the button text with this particular style. Now in the features folder I have created an auth folder and inside that I have created a view folder. Inside the view I have created login view. Now this login view is a stateful widget and here I have created the login form key and I have created two text editing controllers one for email another one for password. Here I have created a boolean variable is password visible and by default its value is false. With the help of this is password visible we will actually toggle the obsecure text. How I will do that that I will discuss later on. In the dispose method here I have disposed the controllers which I have created. In the build method you can see that there is a scaffold single child scroll view then in the form I have used uh, in the key login form key then in the column widget this is the image. Then I have used custom text form field in the controller I have passed the email controller and in the validator I am checking if the value is empty then this message will be displayed. After that to check the email here I am using validation rules dot email validation. Now this validation rules I have created inside the utils folder. You can see that there is a file validation rules and here I have created a class validation rules which contains a email validation regular expression and that I am checking here whatever value I am writing in that text field that I am passing to the email validation regular expression and if the email is valid then it's okay otherwise it will display uh, provide valid email message. In the obsecure text it is false then in the hint text I have passed email and in the suffix I have passed null. Similarly for password here I have used custom text form field in the controller I have passed password controller then in the validator I have checked whether the password is empty or not. Then in the obsecure text here I have passed is password visible and before that I have used not operator by default its value is false that's why it will be true. In the suffix here I have used inkwell and in the inkwell in the child here I have used icon widget and here I am checking if the value of is password visible is true then icons visibility will be displayed else visibility off will be displayed and whenever I will click on this particular icon at that time here I am toggling the value of is password visible. This means if I have written something in the password text field and if I am clicking on that icon at that time it will be converted to obsecure text and again if I am clicking there then again the character will be displayed or it will be visible. After that I have used a rounded elevated button in the on pressed I have not written any code actually whenever I will click here at that time the login, uh, login validation process will continue that I will discuss later on. 
and in the login screen if you remember the demo video in the login screen there was an option for registration so whenever the user will click on that register at that time the register window will open for that here i have used context.push named route names dot register now if i go there let me move to routes route names and here you can see here i have created two route names register and login so whenever the user will click on that register at that time the user will be redirected to the register view fine now let me move to register view this register view is also a stateful widget here i have created the registration form key and after that i have created four text editing controllers for first name last name email password and to toggle the password visibility here i have used is password visible and in the dispose i have disposed all the text editing controllers which i have created then here the same ui is there as we have done in case of login first one is first name after that we have last name then we have email then we have password and after that the rounded elevated button is there and whenever that register button is clicked at that time i am checking whether the form is valid or not by using this register form key dot current state dot validate if the form is valid then only the registration process will continue else not this is how i have created the register view now if i move to routes dot dart then here you can see that uh, after splash here i have used this login for the login it will call login view and for register it will call register view now let me move to splash means whenever the application will be launched at that time i will redirect the user to the login view and to do that i will move to the splash view and here i will write the code here inside the init state i will write widget binding dot instance dot add not add actually it will be add post frame callback and here this and here i will write the code what code i will write here i will redirect the user to the login screen and to do that here i will use context dot go named then route names dot login now what is the use of this widget binding dot instant dot add post frame callback it actually schedules a callback function that will be executed after the current frame is rendered here the current frame is this splash view so whenever it is rendered at that time this particular callback function will be called and it will redirect the user to the login screen now if i run this then you will see that from the splash screen i am moving to the login screen and if i click here then you can see that the validation is also happening uh actually it is not done because in the login view i have not written the code let me write it let me move to register view and let me copy this code let me move to login view and here inside this button click i will paste it instead of register form key it will be login form key now let me hot restart this once again now if i click here then you can see validation is happening now if i write a then you can see it is checking whether the email is valid or not if i click on register then we are moving to the register page and if i click on register then it is checking the form whether it is valid or not this is how we can create the login view and register view that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching